all right, Jody. I just know Pa would have put it in with all this junk when he figured I was sick of it. Forget that old toy. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, you're the one who wanted to see it. Hmm. Let's go swim. Mm, all right. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Careful, Jody. Uh. <gasps> you might have been. Who'd be stupid enough to leave an axe up there? Oh, I don't know. Uh. Last one in the stream's a rotten egg. Hey, hurry up, Jody. Come on, let's go. Jody? Are you all right? Looking at that axe gives me a real funny feeling, and I just can't figure it out. Huh? I've seen this axe before. That ain't too surprising, seeing as you found it in your father's back shed. If I could just remember. Hold on a sec, I'm almost done here. Ah. So, now boys, what can I help you with? We just found this axe. Huh? Oh, Jody, do you recall seeing this old thing? Mm-mm. I just got this funny feeling about it. Well, what a surprise. Can't believe I still got this relic around. Gosh, it sure does take me right back to the old days. I was a much younger man then, fellas. Afraid it's a bit big for me now. Really? About when did you stop using it then, sir? Hmm. It's pretty hard to remember exactly when it was, but I think it must have been just about the time that you two started walking. Long time ago. And you really do remember way back then. I wish I could, but I just can't. Yeah. You know, this is our one family heirloom. I cleared my whole farm with this axe. Must have cut down a hundred trees. <laughs> it's nine years since you used that axe, because that's when we started walking. Seems about right. That sure is an awful long time. Yeah, makes me dizzy just to think about it. Wonder if we sat in exactly the same spot back then. Stop that. You'll make yourself real crazy real fast. Jody, it's really important to remember the past. Huh? We're sitting here talking by the river, and there's nobody around who knows what we're saying or anything. So after we're done talking, the only thing left of it is what we remember. Yeah, that's true. Your pa's axe could have been completely forgotten till the end of time, you know. But you remembered it. I wish I knew why. Why that axe made me feel that way. There's something more. More? Something more than what? Some kind of real wonderful thing happened back then. Like what? Hmm. Whatever it is, I can't remember. Let's go. <sighs> hey. Huh? Jody, you know when... What? Can you remember the first time we met each other? Ah, uh, the very first? Mm. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. That's sure pretty funny. I just can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to remember is gonna make us both crazy. <laughs> hmm? You mean you and Father Wing? Mm-hmm. We tried hard, but we couldn't think of how we first met each other. Do you remember, Pa? Oh, if I think about it, I'm sure I might. Really? 
Think hard. Jody, let your pa think about it after dinner. Ah, uh, better speak up if you want some more corn pone. No, Pa. You hear? What do you want to know that for? Oh, nothing. I just what? sort of want to know about it. Well, what do you want to know then? Pa, uh, when did our two families get to be neighborly? Pa, uh, your coffee's getting cold. Hmm? When that Baxter came here asking me if he could borrow a piece of our land so as to farm it on his own, I just looked him over and I said, let's see if you can just stick it out for three years. Three years? Yep. Told him I didn't want to be friends till I know what kind of stuff he's made of. That's right, but he really hung on. I never will forget the time I had that terrible fever when I was carrying you, Father Wing, a terrible fever. Hmm. That story again, son. Well, then what? It was real stormy. I almost died. How are you feeling now, Ma? I've got a bit of fever down. Nothing but an awful cold. I'll be all right. It's the baby I'm much more worried about. All this fever can hurt a baby. Lord help us. What are we supposed to do about dinner, Pa? Just shut up and go away. B but we're hungry, Pa. <laughs> hmm? Buck, there's somebody at the door. Go and get me my gun. <laughs> 